Hi, I'm Connecticut personal injury attorney Ryan McKean. Today I want to talk to you about the five worst tricks by Progressive Exposed. I'm going to expose what it is uh, that they do. Um, Progressive is one of the major uh, auto carriers here in Connecticut. They have very cute commercials. Uh, generally, you'll notice that the companies that advertise the most are the worst insurance companies to deal with. Uh, go figure. Uh, that's probably why that they have to advertise. Um, so Progressive we're going to tackle today. Um, you know, one of the things that Progressive absolutely loves to do early on is they love to try to get you to sign a release, get you to sign a release early. And why did they do this? Because it benefits them. Everything insurance companies do benefit them. You don't become a big multi-billion dollar insurance company, trillion dollar insurance company by just paying out claims. So what they do is they say, okay, can you sign a release? We'll give you a few hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars. And what it does is it cuts off their liability because we get calls sometimes that people say, you know, I need a surgery. And we say, okay, did you sign a release? They say, yeah, I did, but I didn't know I needed the surgery. And guess what? That is a too bad, so sad. We can't do anything as a lawyer. We can't go back. You sign a release early on, you are letting them off the hook. Really their second favorite thing to do is to absolutely get you to sign a release of your healthcare information. That may be as valuable as a release of claims against them because they want to go digging through your deepest, darkest medical secrets to use against you. They have no right to this information. The only thing that they have a right to is accident related injury records. They don't need to know about the fungus that was on your toe or the time you had an upset stomach or anything else. They don't need to know about your mental health treatment. Um, but they want to go there because they want to intimidate you. And if there ever was a case, they want to use that all against you to say it's everything else but the car accident, which everybody knows uh, that it is. Another thing they love to do is they love to you know, frustrate you, especially early on, uh, not returning your phone calls. Why? Because they know that there's some percentage of population out there. Uh, they think, okay, Geico is going to take care of me. Uh, our uh, progressive is going to take care of me. Geico, these are all the same company. Right? These are all the same same people. They run the same thing. They use the same consultants. That progressive is going to take care of me. And then when your phone calls don't get turned called back and the process seems a little bit hard, there are people out there just give up. Uh, they don't make their claim. Uh, they don't. They don't go forward. They don't. They don't do things. They'll say, "I'll just pay my medical bills. I'll let it go to collections." I'll do whatever, um, or my claim must not be worth anything because nobody's paying attention to it. The flip side of that is sometimes the progressive adjusters can be very nice. Um, some of them can be like, you know, you may want to be friends with them. Believe me, that is an act. The adjuster has one job and one job only, and that is to pay you as little money as possible. And so if they can be nice and they can win your trust and they can, you can make them think that they're your, they're your friends or your buds, um, you know, they may be able to get a deal from you that they otherwise couldn't get. They're psychologically trying to manipulate you. These are not people who are going to give you a gift at Christmas. They're not coming to your funeral. They're not your friends. You just are not your friend. Okay. Along the same lines, they will do everything possible. You can test me on this one to try to prevent you from getting a lawyer. Why? Because they know that they've got to pay on average three and a half times uh, the amount of money when somebody gets a lawyer because lawyers know uh, they know the value of the claims, uh, they know the pressure points of the insurance companies, they know what the insurance company's full obligations are, and that's impossible to know if you haven't uh, lived through this process thousands of times uh, as, a, as an established personal injury firm uh, has lived with it. So that's what they're, that's really one of the things that they're trying to do. And the other thing is I call it the cookie monster approach. Cookie monster likes cookies. Um, you know, never ending cookies, more cookies, more cookies, but insurance companies, they don't really care about cookies. Okay. They, what they want is they want more data. So you go and you give them some medical records and they say, well, to assess your claim, we need more medical records. You go and you give them your pay stubs and they say, we need a note from your boss. And then we need your tax returns. What they're trying to do is string you along, make it, make it so it seems like it's not worth it. And maybe you blow the statute of limitations. In every state in this country, sometimes as little as a year, sometimes even notice has to be given shorter than that. Connecticut, it's two years to bring a claim. If you don't bring a claim, even if even if uh, Progressive is off asking you for more information, that claim goes kablooey. So all of a sudden, one day you say, you know, they say to you, "Look, I just need this, this, and this," and you go and you get it, and then 
if you call them back six weeks later, you say, hey, I have this, and they say, oh, too bad, so sad, uh, statute of limitations ran, we're paying you goose egg. They try to do that, they try to get away with that. The sooner you get a lawyer, the sooner you can get some help. If uh, you're experiencing these things uh, from Progressive, know that you're not alone, they're running a playbook. Don't hesitate to give me a call, 860-471-8333.